Let's approach the summit from a different angle, this time through the eyes of the Southeast Asian media. Kim bo Gyang zooms in on their assessment and, the, and what ASEAN members were particularly interested in. South Korea's hosting of the commemorative summit appears to have been a success in the eyes of the foreign media. The security and the assurance and other personnel are so accommodating that they attend to every concern and to every need of of delegates, of media, and other, those who are part of this summit. So if I'm going to rate this preparation, if I'm going to rate this kind of uh, hosting, I think I'm going to consider it as an all-kill performance an all, or an all-kill preparation. Media outlets from ASEAN countries have reported on how strengthening ties with South Korea could be an opportunity for their own countries to grow further. According to the Jakarta Post, Indonesian President Joko Widodo was interested in South Korea's successful urban development. He visited Busan's Kamchon Cultural Village and ordered officials to use the village as a model of urban rehabilitation. Calling the village an inspiration, the president wanted to transform rundown districts in Indonesia into tourist attractions. Malaysian media outlet Malay Mail also emphasized the importance of connectivity between South Korea and Malaysia by quoting the country's prime minister. It said South Korea, which possesses the required expertise in infrastructure construction and economic expansion, could be a model for ASEAN countries. Technology was also an important area Southeast Asian countries were interested in. We saw President Moon showing off uh, high-tech products, uh, Samsung products, products of other companies, uh, robotic products, so the wonders of the uh, high-tech age to these leaders of these countries to show uh, what could be done here and what they could export to Southeast Asia. Vietnam News, a daily English-language newspaper, quoted the Prime Minister of Vietnam stressing how he would like to encourage investors in Seoul to expand their investment, especially in the fields of electronics, energy, technology, and smart cities, further enabling South Korea to transfer new technologies to Vietnam. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News, Busan.